senior scientist who works for Pfizer at Sandwich in Kent has accused the company and the task force looking at the closure of not doing enough to keep the workforce and the skills they offer in the region. Speaking exclusively to our business correspondent Mark Norman, he says people should put their money where their mouth is and help Pfizer staff set up new firms in Kent. He believes that politicians are doing too little too late. We've agreed to hide his identity and his words are spoken by an actor. They are slow. They are far too slow. People have already accepted offers abroad and everybody knows that it's over. I feel that somebody needs to step forward and rattle a few cages so that things get done. People can move forward. Well, when the uh, drugs company Pfizer announced the closure of its sandwich plant with the loss of 2,400 jobs, East Kent politicians, businesses and trade organisations formed a task force to help create a post-Pfizer economy in East Kent. They called on the government to grant Enterprise Zone status to help the area create new jobs. Now, the task force claims that without significant action from the government, job losses from Pfizer and the knock-on effect could cost the local economy £380 million. That's that's nearly 9% of the region's total output. Well, we're joined now from Westminster by South Thanet MP Laura Sands, who's a member of uh, that task force. Good afternoon, uh, Laura. Good afternoon. So, if, as this worker claims, nothing is being done to help uh, the current workforce, then what exactly has the task force been doing? No, I mean, actually, today we've had a meeting with private sector investors for East Kent. What we've got is a time problem, and that is that the, as I said at the time, Pfizer is exiting or creating redundancies too quickly for us to be able to secure that um, finance and that investment from private sector companies. But I assure you that we're working extremely hard to secure those, those companies into the local economy as soon as we can. Well, you are on the task force and in the report published last week you yourself criticised the government for not doing enough and of course now uh, people have come forward saying that they agree, staff are agreeing. How do you go forward from here then? Well, I mean, we've got, we're going to be putting in um, an enterprise zone submission which will be uh, decided by the end of July, so we'll know about that particular status. We're also putting in for regional growth fund, which would bring a huge amount of money to the local economy. But when it comes to the Pfizer site itself, that is owned by Pfizer, it's not owned by government. So what we would encourage is for everybody who's looking to set up businesses, spin-offs from Pfizer to contact us because we've been asking Pfizer if there is anything that the government can do to support those important spin-offs and sort of scientific projects that we would love to see in the area. Okay, Laura Sands, thank you very much indeed.